Let's get to the all NBA stuff. Go ahead. Yeah. The more interesting debate may just be the all NBA debate. Yeah. You released your ballot on Twitter. Uh, do your best to rationalize having LeBron, Steph, and Katie on there while all while missing half the season. Okay, so let's go. Let's go through. Uh, let's go through the the list here. Uh, of what we've got the for the All NBA. What my tweet was. Okay, so my tweet what was a lot can change in the final month. As of now, my All NBA teams would be. So I am going to go with the traditional rules that a center is a center. So I'm not putting Jokic and Embiid both on my first team. I know they, pardon me, they changed the rules last year, so you could, but that's ridiculous. Jokic, all NBA teams should theoretically be able to take the court together. And Jokic and Embiid would never be on the court together. Neither one of them is a forward. So you have to choose between them. So I went in bead center. It, there, some of these are obvious. Tatum's got to be a first team forward. Giannis has to be a first team forward. Embiid or Jokic have to be a first team center, and Luca has to be a first team guard. So that then leaves one guard spot available. I'm rewarding winning. How clutch he has been. De'Aaron Fox gets my last first team guard spot as of now. They are. Are they still the two seed, or did they fall technically to the three line last night? They're the three seed by a game. He's been outstanding. I don't think there's going to be a lot of argument there. Now we get to second team. So Jokic is the center. It's either Jokic and Bede and Bede Jokic. Jokic is the center. We'll get to LeBron, the forwards in a moment. I don't know about Durant or LeBron over Durant. Well, so here's the problem. So well, let me get there, okay? So... This is where I say it can change because right now when it comes to games played, so the Lakers have played 66 games, right? 68 games. LeBron's played 47 of them, okay? Steph has played 43. Durant has played 42, all right? You, out of 47, 45, 42, out of 66 is barely enough, but enough. 47, 45, 42 out of 82 is not enough. You got to play at least a little more, you know, more than half the season. So Durant could fall off it if Durant doesn't come back at all. Right. Steph is healthy and playing. We'll see how much longer LeBron's going to miss. Can we throw that back on the screen, though? The All NBA ballot. Right now, though, all of those guys have played enough, in my opinion, to qualify. So LeBron was underrated how exceptional he was, despite the roster being fully broken to start the year, despite the fact that Anthony Davis was out injured. LeBron for the season is 30 points, eight rebounds, seven assists on better than 50% from the field. Now Durant is. It, similar numbers, worse passing, more efficient. However, Durant's missed more time, and I am flatly, and I think it's fair, going to ding you a bit for demanding a trade from a team you built. Like, so there's that, plus he's played less, so that's LeBron over Durant. Jimmy Butler, Laurie Markkinen. Laurie Markkinen's numbers are better. I have Jimmy Butler as second team, Laurie Markkinen third team. Markkinen's numbers are better. Jimmy is such a winning player. And if you watched last night, a defensive play to help win the game. He hit. He never shoots threes. He hit a huge three last night. To me, he's just one of the 15 best guys in the league. And now the really, and then guys, big men who missed, or front court guys who missed, Kawhi missed. Kawhi is close. Kawhi's only played 41 games, and his numbers are only 24 points per game. But since mid-January, he's been unbelievable. But because he's played so little, and a lot of those games he's on a minutes restriction, he just misses. And Bam misses because I think the Kings deserve two guys. And DeMontis Sabonis has been awesome. So DeMontis gets my final center spot. So Kawhi could take Durant's spot. In a few, getting 10 more games. Yes. 
Absolutely. And Kawhi absolutely could take it. Throw that back on the screen again, guys. Sorry. Kawhi absolutely could take Durant's spot. In fact, I would anticipate he might take Durant's spot. And then there's the guard stuff, and it's the hardest. So Steph has been unbelievable for a bad team. He's carried them. I know he's missed time, but he's one of the greatest players ever. He's having an awesome season. He's averaging 30 a game. He's shooting 44% from three. He's averaging 36 and six. Donovan Mitchell has been the difference for the Cavs this year. He's giving you also around 30 a game. And then Dame, his team stinks is the problem, but he is averaging 32 a night and shooting 38% from three. And I think James Harden's been underrated in what he's done with Philly, and Philly could win the title. Harden this year, I think people are discounting him. His scoring is down, but he's 22.6 rebounds, 11 assists, on four, and 40% from three. And the Sixers deserve two guys. But that does leave SGA off it entirely, which feels unfair, but they also are now losing a lot. Jalen Brown doesn't make it. And Anthony Edwards doesn't make it. SGA was the hardest one to leave off. Mm -hmm. Maybe I end up taking Dame off for him, but I do think Dame's better than him. But that's my All-NBA as of now. It can change. There's a month left. Can you bet on All-NBA? Maybe. I've never seen it, but maybe you can. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.